So hello everyone and welcome in this video guide where we're going to learn how to work with data on the Fargo Informatics platform. So for that, obviously, we're going to add a data set uh, to our map. So I will go for food insecurity and for daily food price monitor, which is a national data set. So each data is associated to one country. The data has loads. So as you can see, there are different types of products. Uh, so I can choose apple, uh, potatoes, here we're going to go for apples. Also at the bottom part of the workbench, so on the left side of the screen, you can see that there are two um, variables that could be displayed. It's either like the variation of the price or the price itself. By clicking on a country, the feature information window will open and I can see different types of information such as the country, the latest price, the currency, the date. And at the bottom of this window, there is a chart and a tiny button expand. If I click on it, it will open bigger chart at the bottom of the screen with all the price variation for India. If I click on another country, you will see that we have the same feature information window. If I click on expand again, it will add the chart to the bottom of the screen so I can compare the data from India and Pakistan. In the workbench, I have also the possibility to click on table to get um, a table with all the data from the data sets. I will go back to the charts. As you can see, I can also zoom in uh, the charts. Reset zoom to go back to the full chart. Okay, so I'm going to remove it. So you can see that in the workbench, I can navigate through the different um, data from the different dates. So either with the arrow or by clicking on the date, I can select a precise date. Also at the bottom of the screen, you will see that there is a timeline. Um, I can basically move my mouse around it to select a specific date, or I can just click on it. On the left part, there is a play button which allows me to start a time-lapse of the data. The two arrows going left and right make it go quicker or slower, and by clicking on the left button, it goes back to the first date of the data set. Also, by clicking on the agenda button, I can also select a specific date from this data set. All right, so that's it for this data set. Now we're going to add a new data set to explain a bit more other features. So I'm going to go in livestock and we're going to load the major DCs data set. So as you can see, I have many variables that I can choose, like the DCs, also the diagnosis status, the animal type, the country. So you will see that for this one, for what I choose, which is with body fever in all the countries and confirmed case, there is just like one case for the date I chose. It's the tiny red dot uh, on the map. If I click on it, I will get access to all the information related to that report uh, in the feature information window. So uh, the country, the disease, the diagnosis status, the date of the report and everything. And I can also get a direct access to Impresai or also uh, the publication on Agris related to that case specifically. In the workbench, there is this tiny button which disables the time function. So basically, I will get access to all the reports from um, this data set, regardless of the time. So here, like all the Rift Valley Fever case confirmed um, from the data set. So obviously, I can zoom in and um, see it a bit more precisely. And I have still the option to get a table um, to display all this data. Again, I can choose the variables I want to be displayed. So for example, just like the wild animals, I can add filters. By clicking on the tiny arrow on the top of the screen, it allows me to see at the same time the map and the table. We have also several visualization options for the table, so I can go to light mode or dark mode, but I can also get access to a pivot mode which allows me to build my own table. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose country, put country in data fields and animal type in the pivot axis. And here I have my table. You can see on the top left part of the screen that I can also change uh, the view type. So for now it's table, but I can choose a table heat map also. And I also have the possibility to get exportable CSV. 
And all right, that's it for this video. Um, so we just learned how to basically work with data from the data sets. It's just the most basic features, but it allows you to start working uh, with data sets on the Fargo Informatics platform. Don't forget to check our other videos on our playlist Fargo Informatics and also on our website Fargo Informatics. You will find written guides and video guides to learn a bit more about the possibilities of the platform and what you can do with it.